Hey, everyone! Welcome to my Surat Scampi video tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to convert H five AD files into a Surat object. The data that I'm using uh, could be downloaded from this website. In this study, they use the human precision cut non slices and treat with the different uh, drugs, then perform the single cell RNA sequencing analysis. So we can download the data from here. You can see the size is very big, it's 7.6 gigabyte. So I downloaded it already in my uh, in my downloads folder. You can see the H five eighty file. So now we can uh, read this H five eighty file into a uh, Jupyter notebook. First, we need to know the order dependencies. So let's read the data into Jupyter notebook. So we can have a look at the data. You can see, um, so this data set has uh, uh, more than 63,000 cells and more than 17,000 genes. You also can see all the information from the observations and the variables. We can see the uh, Dimensional reduction method PCA U map. So let's have a look at the cell clusters. We can use the information from the observations. You see, you see a uh, leading one. This is the lower um, resolution. We can have a look. You can see uh, there are twenty seven. Um, cell clusters in this data set. We can also have a look at the cells by uh, samples. You can see um, the precision cut analysis were obtained from two uh, donors, one and the two, and uh, each donor have four different uh, uh, treatment. CC means uh, control, FC means a uh, camel kinds cocktail, then plus uh, CMP4 and uh, nitadanib treatment. So both drugs uh, inhibit the collagen production in mass and camel cells. We can also have a look at uh, the cell types. You can see here are all the cell types they labeled in the data set. So we aim to create files from this data set and produce the same UMAP pattern in SURAT. So the data was analyzed uh, in ScanP. So we can switch the data to raw So you know in uh, Surat when we use uh, 10 times uh, uh, read function, we need the matrix data, buckles, and uh, uh, gene information. So we can uh, write the matrix data from this H580 files. Let's run. Because the size is very big, so it takes time to uh, write the matrix data. So I saved the matrix data in the human precision cut non slice folder. So we can go to that folder and have a look. You can see we have a, a matrix data file 
already here, but the size is zero. That because uh, Python hasn't finished the writing yet. Okay, so it's done. You can see uh, the changes here from the asterisk to number eight. So we vote the matrix data. Next, we can write the barcode information. So we know um, the barcode was saved in the A data observation names. So let's have a look. The A data observation names, you can see in here the barcodes. So we know uh, the observation names are barcodes. So we can write uh, this information as the barcode. If we go to have a look at our folder, you can see we have the matrix data already. Now we have the barcode information. Let's go back again to us. So next we need to write the uh, G information. And the G information was stored in the A data variable names. We can have a look again. You can see that's all the genes, we know we have more than 17,000 genes in this data set. So now we can write the uh, G information. So in order to produce the same uh, number of cell clusters and the same um, UMAP pattern, we also need the uh, metadata. So we can have a look at the metadata. So here are all the information for the metadata. Now we can also write the metadata. So now, if we go to our folder, you can see we have all the files, matrix, barcode, features, and the metadata. Then we can read the news information into surat. So now we can uh, read the uh, matrix barcode and the features into R and perform surat analysis. So because uh, surat requires uh, uh, gzip uh, files, first we need to convert the matrix barcode and the feature files into gzip files. So let's uh, uh, note our libraries. So our utinis is the one for um, gzip. So we can, okay, so now we can zip our files. Again, the matrix uh, data is quite big. It uh, takes time to compress it. Okay, it's done. Then we can compress the barcode and the features. So if we have a look at our files again, now you can see the barcodes, uh, features and the matrix uh, changed to uh, zip files. Now we can use the read 10 times function to read the data into R. So in our gene uh, files, we only have one column genes. So here you can see it's a one. So let's uh, read the data in. Okay, so now our read the um, data in, we named it the raw data. So now it's a large DGC matrix data. So in order to produce uh, the same cell pattern, we need to read the metadata as well. So we have the metadata. So uh, let's have a look at the metadata. So the barcode are in the first column named as X. So we can give this information to the row names. So we can run. If you have a look at the um, metadata now, you can see the row names are barcodes now but the barcodes are still in the first column, so we can delete it. 
now we have a, a proper metadata we can use it to create the sort object so now we can use the create sort object function to create a sort object we will name it as human precision cut down slices so let's create this sort object so you can see we have a sort object now named as the human precision cut down slices so the data is quite big it's a two 0.4 gigabyte here so we can use the view function to have a look at the data so now you can see the metadata for the object we have the barcode information origin ID and count and features and the treatment conditions uh, patients numbers different treatment Meant mm. method. We have the uh, analysis information. We have the leading one, leading two canasters, cell, cell names. So we created the throughout the object. Then we can save this object. Oh, so uh, my files directory is wrong so let's change it so let's save it again so if you see uh, in my folder now we have a, a surat object so now we converted a scampi h5 ad file into a surat rds object so we can we and also we saved it so next time um we can read the surat object in and do other analysis